Hello, I'm Victor LaRuccia, the president of the San Diego Italian Film Festival, and I'm here to invite you to a special screening of one of Italy's most beloved classical films, Cinema Paradiso by Giuseppe Tornatore. Um, but before I get into that, I would like to begin with a question, maybe a little bit foolish one. What is a kiss? Kiss is a promise. It's also a gesture of respect and maybe a sign of more things to come. It is the excitement of joining in a shared story, not just the beginning of a new story, but one that has been told for a long time, one that means we are seen, held, recognized, and maybe treasured. A kiss is a story we want for ourselves, and it is the key to the Tornatore film Cinema Paradiso. This is a movie about two misfits, one a bright mischievous boy, Salvatore, called Toto, the other Alfredo, a sad mechanic servicing a hot movie projector as large as a small car. Both are enthralled by the art pouring from the projector, and while neither Toto nor Alfredo create love stories, they are both victims of those very stories. Alfredo bellissimo! And yet, victims is too tough a word. Rather, they are acolytes of the religion of a kiss. In their labors, they genuflect before that part of the story. The projectionist Alfredo teaches Toto how to be an altar boy for the cinema. And Toto returns that love with dedication to movies and tending the big projection machine. It all takes place in a Sicilian town, John Caldo, in the later 40s and 50s. And the movie watches the changes taking place and the way individuals connect with each other to form a community in their shared works and in their shared stories. The movie theater is a cultural counterpoint to the church the church dedicated to controlling Eros, the theater dedicated to unleashing Eros. In this town, both theater and church are normal, necessary, and through them we see the locals as a community. The connection between the two is that the priest carries his service into the theater to censor the films whose art depends not only on glorious stories, but the heroics of love. The priest forbids those moments of promise, the sweet kisses that pledge not only a body, but also stories that spark imagination and desire. Toto drinks in those movies and their stories, and like Dante's lovers, becomes enraptured by the story itself. Più importante. Seguro, più importante. Sì. Eh, io lo so. Ora che ho perso la vista, ci vedo di più. Vedo tutto quello che non vedevo prima. E il merito è tuo, Totò, che mi hai salvato la vita. E io non lo dimenticherò. <laughs> non fare questa faccia. At one point, Alfredo, now blind and on a walk with his friend, wants to show Salvatore how useless things are. He tells Salvatore a fairy tale about a young soldier in the king's service who falls in love with the king's daughter. The soldier can find no way to show his love and finally decides that if he stands for a hundred days under his love's window, his passion will mark him as a worthy suitor and win his love. Every day the soldier becomes more of a statue, worn by weather and accumulating bird droppings and whitened to dust. Alla fine. Sì. Proprio alla fine, Totò. E non mi domandare qual è il significato. Io non lo so. Se lo capisci, dimmillo tu. While the story seems entirely meaningless, or at best terribly melancholy, who wants to prove themselves that way? Salvatore, knowing a good movie script, adapts the story to woo his own beauty. He stands outside her window day after day in the cold, rain, and indifference, waiting for the sign of her shutter being opened. But this sequence in the film is so counter to our expectations, so counter to the idea of love found, that when Salvatore walks away on New Year's Eve, we're shocked. Yet that sadness seems to be at least half of what holds this town together. The other half is the imagination that takes hold in the ancient stories of heroism, love found, and the promise of a kiss, which is also the promise of recognition every member of a community seeks. For Salvatore, the story is not simply incomplete. It is a profound rejection, not just by a woman he loves, but by the very town itself. And with Alfredo's instruction to never return, 
Salvatore leaves, never returning to his old community for decades until he learns Alfredo has died. Flying home, Salvatore attends his old friend's funeral, watches with his fellow townspeople the destruction of the old Cinema Paradiso, and accepts a package left by Alfredo for him and learns from Alfredo's widow that Alfredo sent Salvatore away so that he could go beyond the stories of his village to become a storyteller of his own. Una volta tua madre ci ha detto che se lui lo voleva tu saresti venuto sicuramente. Si infuriò, diceva, no, Totò non deve ritornare a Giancaldo mai. Ma non lo diceva per cattiveria. Era un bravo cristiano. On his return to Rome, Salvatore finds in his final gift from Alfredo all the scenes cut from years of censorship, the kisses and embracing bodies that punctuated the stories of his youth. And we, in that moment of watching all those excised kisses saved by Alfredo, understand that time has little power over us when such a powerful kiss is sent across decades and pains. We see that the recognition and community was always there between two storytellers whose punishment and whose joys have been to enrapture their community with those very stories and the promise of more, the power of Eros. While this seems a really melancholy outcome, it is truly a heartfelt yearning for the promise of a kiss, and mainly for the embrace of a community that has shared stories beating in its heart. <laughs>